Hey, Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes. What's up, Reddit Rebels? So today we're going to talk about Wade, Jesse, and, and Ori's um, phone call. So, you know, Wade seems to believe that Ari works for the Innocence Project and will be helping with a new trial. Honey, there is no Innocence Project because Wade has not, he doesn't have an innocent bone in his body. Okay. Nothing. Not even his hair follicles are innocent. And there is no new trial. So I'm not gonna, but we're not gonna entertain that. But they're talking about it. But we know what's up. Kelly is feeling some type of way, and Jesse calls her a worry wart. See, let me tell you something. Jesse, she's a crafty old son of a you know what. She is a crafty little witch, honey. Mm. She's crafty. And that's all I'm going to say. If Kelly is feeling some type of way, maybe she's feeling apprehensive about all of this or she's nervous or whatever. She has every right to be. Every right to, every right to be. Now, Wade asked Jesse, did she run tracking on her phone? And I assume... They're talking about Kelly, but if they if they're not, let me know in the comment section. And of course, you know, Jesse said everything is checking out. Why are you tracking somebody? Why are you why are you doing all this? See, this is the reason why she didn't want these calls out here on these YouTube streets or just out here in the universe. It's a reason why she wanted these calls blocked because of all of the activity that she's been doing with Wade. Okay. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So, um, Jesse said that she want everything, you know, just to go right, go smooth. And of course, Wade was like, what the F is that supposed to mean? Let me tell you something. If Wade wasn't in jail and Jesse was in front of him, there's, there's no doubt, doubt in my mind. You know, he wouldn't have twisted her like a pretzel and not in a good way, okay? I, he would have laid hands on her. Okay? He would have laid hands on her. And you could just, listen, you guys can tell his conversation with Jesse is totally different with his conversation with other women. But his conversation is really different with Ari. And she's supposed to be the attorney. Hmm. Okay, we'll get to that. So insecure Jesse, making sure that the person isn't hitting on him. And I guess um, they're talking about Ari. And Jesse doesn't like the German girl. <sighs> I wonder if Jesse heard these calls. I would love to know what she's thinking right now. Okay. The phone call between Wade and Ori. So she was talking to him about, you know, it started out professional. She was talking to him about character witness, witnesses and everything. And he was asking about his fiance. I guess he's talking about Jess, Jesse. Um, and he said he knew her for two months and stuff like that. And then he was, she was saying that when he leaves the jail, he's going to need, you know, protective custody. And he was like, yeah, 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 I know. He's going he's gonna to need that and stuff like that. Now, Wade is flirting with Ari. And when that started, I said, oh, look at this right here. Hmm. The unprofessional. Starring Ari. She is a very unprofessional attorney, if that's what you want to call it. It's kind of hard to hear her because I was like straining my ears to hear her. But Wade was carrying this conversation and honey, they just had a good old time. He seemed like he was very upbeat talking to Ori. The stuff that he was talking to her about and saying things. I was like, what in the heck is going on here? I said, oh, I see how they getting down. 
Especially when he was talking about he's all the way ready. He would wear her out. She And she said that she would do cartwheels around him. This is so unprofessional on all levels. It is very unprofessional. She said she couldn't um, do coke because she would be dancing. What, what type of conversations are they having here? <laughs> Ari was telling Wade that she wears six inch, six inch heels. Now, <laughs> why does Wade need to know that? <laughs> this conversation. <laughs> oh God, the conversation between Wade and Ari was unprofessional, off the chain. And if Jesse knew about this conversation that he's having with Ari, she will flip her lid because she said to him, you know, she's no one's trying to hit on you. She's very insecure. I wonder how she's feeling now. I know she's somewhere lurking in the shadows. I know she's watching and listening, watching and listening, watching and listening. <laughs> Jesse, girl, you can talk to me. What's the matter? Did you hear the phone call that he told you? <laughs> he told you that nobody was going to be flirting with him. <laughs> but guess what, girl? He was flirting and so was she. <laughs> Jesse, 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 Jesse. Mm, 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 mm. And then he says he's going to get her out of her shoes. Mm. Okay. Um, Ari said she could stay up for three days. And Wade said not with him. And she said um, that he would be in bed sleeping not even 10 hours in. And Ari told Wade she's his attorney and she can't talk to him like that. Girl, that's out the window now. First of all, I want to bring this to you guys' attention. And I, I think I'm right about this, but you let me know in the comment section. So, if she's an attorney, right, we shouldn't be hearing her phone calls. There should be, I think there's a number that they can, when they speak to their client, that they can have a private conversation. Right? So, why... Their phone calls is in private. And I know he gave her, you know, he was telling her that towards the end that he can have like, you know, their, their conversations are more private. But I just thought about that. I, I really, I just thought about that. Because when a lawyer talks to their client on the phone, that's, um you know, that's, that has to be private, you know? So, yeah. I, I just want to bring that to your attention, you know? Let me know if I'm correct. Okay, so, um, but girl, it's too late. You already opened Pandora's box. Well, Wade's box. So you might as well just jump, <laughs> jump in with both feet now. Now you're talking about we can't be talking like that because I'm your attorney. You're his, <laughs> yeah, you're his attorney, all right. He's trying to turn you inside out or upside down. Okay. So Ari mentioned the calls being public and he said, don't worry. They're going to get the call sealed. <laughs> well, if that was the case, we wouldn't be listening to these calls now. So now I see why Jess, Jesse wants these calls <sighs> blocked. Denied. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tell you, I lost a few brain cells listening to this call between Wade and his laugh and his lying and uh, little Miss Sweet Pea over there. You can't hardly hear what she's saying. It's, it's just a mess. It was a mess. But you guys did warn me. You guys warned me. And then she said, There's no law. Being in love with your attorney. I don't know what it is about this guy. I don't know what it is about him that these girls, these women, 
love about him. I, I just don't see it. So Wade told Ari, he doesn't talk to fangirls, which we know that's a lie. And that he's up to bat. He's swinging. <laughs> he is so lame. Wade said he like older chicks, but we can tell. We can tell. And he's telling Ari to show him something. Show me something. I want you to show me something. <sighs> and he told Ari that he wants to really hang out with her. So maybe he's ready to risk it all and dump Jesse for Ari now. Now, why are they talking about getting him free? He is not going to be set free. That is not happening. That is not happening at all. Like I said before, there's nothing innocent about Wade. He did everything that they said he did. There is proof. There is evidence. There's phone calls. There's a confession. He did it all. And it's, it seems like he's, it seems like he's having a ball in jail. It seems like he's having fun. And, and that's sickening to me. And these women are entertaining him. Now, Ari is supposed to be an attorney, right? You're not supposed to be, into, you know, talking to him the way you're talking to him, first of all. Second of all, you're supposed to be a professional, not an unprofessional lawyer or attorney. You're supposed to be a professional attorney talking to your client. Not an unprofessional attorney talking to your clients. <laughs> so she told me that he's always going to be thirsty for her. Oh, Heavenly Father. <sighs> I, I'm going to have to say a few Hail Marys <laughs> after this because these, these people are just, oh my God, man. Wade and Ari, they are a hot ass mess. They are a hot ass mess. And, you know, he told, well, Ari told Wade he wasn't ready to see her, her whole. And that she doesn't like to share, you know, because they were talking about his fiance and stuff like that. And he want his cake. He want his cake. Um, He want his cake and eat it too. And she said, you can't do that with me. Because she wants loyalty. She's a very loyal person. But she's engaged to somebody else. And she's talking like this. To her client. Oh. I can't wait to see the walls start tumbling down on this situation. I can't wait. I can't. I can't wait. Baby. I can't wait. Dun 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 dun. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see everything. Crum it's starting to crumble now. Everything is out of order now. But I just can't wait to see everything just crumble. I can't wait to, if we ever hear it, but I can't wait to hear how Jesse feels about this conversation. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, it's never a dull moment. It's never a dull moment. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But anyway, that's all I have right now. That conversation just wore me out. I am just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. And I just need to eat my dinner. Oh, my show come on tonight. So, yeah, I am about to close out. You guys have a wonderful night. And we shall talk again tomorrow. But um, I'm going to put out my other video because I'm starting a series called Evil in the City. And because it's spooky season, I'm going to be talking about, you know, different murders and different horror stories that happen in Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, and stuff like that. So that's going to be my little spooky, um, my little spooky time for the month of October. Okay. So you guys have a good one and I will talk to you later and you know what to do. Talk to me in the comment section.
All right. All right.